So, I was on Reddit today, nice dog, and I saw someone post a question, um, which I thought was kind of funny, but the question was something along the lines of, if a conjoined twin committed murder, what would the judge do? So I think... that they are probably referring to, like... assuming they're in a state where there's like mandatory sentencing of like a jail for uh, the offence of murder, blah 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 blah. And, you know, would the judge sentence both of the twins to jail um, and I thought that was a really interesting question yeah so also thought I'd go on a bit of a bike ride because uh, there's nothing else to do really um, so yeah here we are lovely day in Victoria for once um, yeah, what do you, what do you reckon they'd do? Um, like, I reckon it's probably like, hello? Um, definitely more than two people, that's not allowed. Um, but yeah, I reckon if you're in a state where you had mandatory sentencing, a mandatory minimum sentence of a period in jail for the committal of an offence such as murder and a conjoined twin committed murder, one of the twins, I think you'd have a serious problem, and I think it would be quite interesting. Personally, in Australia, we often follow the legal principle, um, often attributed to Sir William Blackstone, pretty sure that was his name, uh, which is something along the lines of, uh, it's better than that ten guilty men go free than one innocent man be imprisoned. But that's just a principle, and is not really enshrined in law um, anywhere except for, you know, the presumption of innocence. Um, we have, for example, the presumption of guilt when one is applying for bail. Um, so I'd like to think that based on that little principle, in Australia we probably wouldn't sentence them to a period of imprisonment because you'd effectively be sentencing an innocent person to jail. Um, however, If there's no law kind of stopping a judge from doing that, and the law says, you know, hello, Mr. or Mrs. Judge, that's cool, um, you've got to put this twin in jail, the judge has to kind of follow the law there. Um, and you know what, they probably would, and then the innocent person, the innocent twin, definitely would have a grounds for appeal, and that second judge would probably have a bit more freedom. What the hell is going on here? Then the what did you just do? Than the first judge, um, because they'd be considering kind of the case of the the second person rather than the the guilty person. Um, but also, you'd have to consider things like you know, it was the it was the 
are the conjoined twin complicit or an accessory to the initial murder? Just lovely things to consider. That is a gorgeous dog. I can't believe that dog can see. How does that dog see? Wowee. But, yeah. What do you reckon? Anyways, there were uh, 14 cases today in Victoria. So that's fun. Um, looks like we might be opening up soon, but I'm not actually sure. Ooh, someone's shouting. Hopefully not at me. It's, it's kind of weird to see people out there. Wear your mask properly, mate. Come on. It's like walking around with your fly undone. Except probably worse for the general public's health. You're fly undone and your bits hanging out, I reckon. Um, hello. Let's go left here. Boop. But, uh, yeah, it's nice to see everything open up again. Well, it's not really opening up. But, you know. Not closed. It's not. Oh, that's a really good little op shop. Fantastic little bottle I just there. The Coppins. How good. But yeah, let me know what you think about the little dilemma. Be interested to hear your thoughts. Um, and also, pretty keen to be able to ride more than five kilometers uh, away from my house. That would be great. So, uh, I guess expect to see more videos when that happens. Or not, because I'll probably actually be doing something really shit mechanic. Refreshingly sexist as well. So, I don't know, do with that information what you will. Lovely pub. I really stopped. Great dog. Anyways, thank you for listening. I'll probably be back sometime soon for another video. Alright, come on, pal. Unless I die from an accident, of course. Or from overreacting. Equally likely.